Hi guys, it is time for my August update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows Project Pan. As I said before, I have no interest in actually hitting pan on these eyeshadows. I don't want to pan them, I just want to use them. I want to make some dents in them. So I have set a 10 use goal and randomized two palettes, two singles, and a super shock so that I can cycle through these unloved shadows and show them some love. So if you want to see how I did this month, then stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy. And I'm really happy that you're here. Okay, you guys, we do have a couple of rollouts. We do. The first palette that was randomly chosen was the BH Mimosa palette. And the shade that was chosen was the shade Pomegranate. Now, last month, I had only used this twice. Because that shade is not, a, that is not a me shade. Um... I am all about stepping outside my comfort zone and things like that, but that shade for me was an absolute mess. So this past, since my last update, I have used it the eight additional times uh, to reach my 10 uses, but I used it as a blush. I did. So that's what it looks like. It does not have a dent in it because I ended up using a fluffier brush, a bigger brush, a blush brush, if you will. And, um, I, but I used it, I used it, uh, but I, now I know how I feel about it. And the next palette that was brought in was the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette. And this shade right here is the one that was chosen. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette in a beautiful shade. This is what I have on my eyes today. And that is the shade and it does not have a shade name, it just has numbers. Actually, it's this way, but it does have numbers, but that was shade number one. And I used the shade seven times this month, seven times. I mostly used it as an inner corner, um, but today I do have it on the front part of my lid and have this beautiful blue, icy blue uh, duochrome E type shade. Um, so I have to use that three more times before it rolls out. And then uh, there were two singles that were rolled in. The first one was the Pretty Little Lilac. That was actually rolled in in June when I first started this. It is stunning. I love it. I just took way too much of it. That is what it looks like. But as you can see, there's a very nice, very nice little dent in there. So in June, I used it four times. In July, I used it an additional, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I used it an additional two times. And I did, it has forced me to do a lot of purple looks lately, and I have loved them. I have. Um, the next single that was brought in was from Copacetic Cosmetics, and it is called Life is Gourd. This was like the fall of last year. And you know what? A lot of the shimmers that I have, like Luxy and um, the Bella's Beauty Bar that I have, they're very soft. These are pressed very firmly. So I actually used this 10 times. I did. I used it 10 times. I used it sometimes in, as an inner corner, but mostly I used it just on the front part of my lid. And I used it not just with like a, because it is a green, a greeny goldy shift, but I also used it in a purple look on the lid, and I thought that that looked really good. Um, if I think about it, I'll put that look up here. But um, I, I really loved it. I loved the way it shifted uh, on top of the purple. So keep that in mind when you have basically toppers, because this is basically like a topper. And um, if you want to kind of transform the eyeshadow that you have on, then put a different topper on it, and you might be surprised at how how amazing it looks. So that's rolling out, you guys. That is rolling out because I did use it 10 times. Now, my super shock. My super shock that was rolled in last month was the shade 405. Um, yeah, 405. Obviously, this is a ColourPop super shock, if you didn't know. And it's pretty. It's not my favorite super shock, although it's very pretty. 
um, but it didn't really go with my purple looks that I did. It's a little bit more of a warm purple where the Give Me Glow is a little bit more of a cooler purple. I used it twice last month. Did I use it twice? Oh, I'm sorry. I used it three times um, since the July update. So I have to use it seven more times. So that will stay in my little, my little drawer over here. And hopefully I can show that some more love. So I am rolling in one palette and one single for this month. So I'm going to get my Wheel of Names up and we are going to open the palettes. All right, ready guys? Let's see what palette is chosen. Oh, the Melt, can you see that? The Melt Rust palette. I haven't used that yet, you guys. I got it in a mystery box, a melt mystery box. I haven't used it. And my goal was to bring that out for fall. So, hey, that's awesome. Okay, so I will get that in a minute and I will, and then we will randomize. But let's do, let's do our, let's do our singles. Okay, so here are our singles and we're going to randomly choose a single. Oh, I can't do that one. Um, look -see Social Butterfly I have in my 50 Shades of Yellow Project Pan. So we are going to redraw. Okay, we have our single pan. Sorry, that took a minute to come up because there was an ad. Olivia. Oh, my Odin's Eye. Why does it say Olivia added? I don't know. Olivia, my Odin's eye. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I don't know exactly where. I don't know which one it's in. That's copacetic. Well, I'm going to put this guy away. Okay, so the shade that was chosen. This is the Olivia from Odin's eye. This came in a mystery box. I have not used it yet. But it's beautiful. I have something else swatched over here from earlier today when I was doing my makeup. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of a peachy, a warm peachy tone. I've never used it. I got two singles in the Odin's Eye Mystery Box. Okay, so here's our Melt Rust palette. It is so pretty. So we're going to randomize a shade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten shades. So let's bring up our tiny decisions. Oh, pretty random, I mean. Okay, one through ten. And we're going to randomize. Ten. All right, so I have to use... This shade right here, it's called Rot 2. So let's see. That is a very, very dark brown. Mm. Yikes. That does not go with my other shades. It doesn't. So let me swatch the rest of our color story. And I'll be back. Okay, you guys, this is our new color story. This was our old color story, and this is our new color story. I'm not going to lie. I'm not super excited about this. Um, this shade and this shade are very similar, but this is lighter. This was the, this is the Pat McGrath. This is the new rust, uh, melt rust palette called Rot. This is the Olivia single. This is the Give Me Glow single. And this is my Super Shock 405. So this is going to be a tough one. I do like it better than this one. I, I did not like this shade right there and I was so excited for it to be over with. So this is our new color story. Hmm. Hmm. Not excited, but it is from a palette that I have never used and it's also a single that I had never used. 
So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let me know what you think of my color story and if you think it's doable. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have different looks uh, using other palettes. I'm not going to be able to do this. Although like one, two, three, four shimmers again. Yeah, I had four shimmers and one matte, four shimmers and one matte. Um, I do love the shimmers, but that just means I have to bring in other palettes too and use them. So you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know what you think of my color story. Mm, let me know. Let me know. Until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we will see you later.